Hey, podcasters, welcome to the Riots podcast of podcasts. So this week, we only have today and tomorrow, so it better be good. You guys, Nikki looks ridiculous Why? right now. Because I'm wearing a Christmas, an ugly Christmas sweater across from you. You look no better. I know, but I can't see me. I can. See, I forgot I had it on. I looked up and I was like, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? We are doing our, which if you're a normally just a podcast listener, we're the morning show on Radio U. Yes. And each Christmas, we always unleash a Christmas channel, which is very popular for people to listen to our Radio U Christmas songs, and we host it. Well, every so often, we'll do a Christmas in July channel, Mm -hmm. and that will be unveiled on July 13th, so we're recording it after this. So we brought our ugly Christmas sweaters. Yay! It's so hot! You know what? It's on the Mine is very hot, and I think dust is coming off. (laughs) I, I think I'm still, like, I seem to be doing okay. Yeah. No, I'm uh, But I'm warm. not going to leave it on the whole time. But I will tell you, uh, we're going to go ahead, and we've always said we will do this, so give you a chance to see how unexciting it really is. <laughs> we are going to go ahead and run a working on the Christmas Channel live stream so you can actually see it. Um, so if we decide to, you'll be able to see that through Radio You Riot on our Facebook page. Mm-hmm. But if nothing's there... Then, then didn't we work. didn't do it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so you guys enjoy this podcast. Uh, today in the podcast, I do talk about uh, a game I'm super curious about called Nino Cooney 2. Uh, we talk about LeBron James, just like everyone else. Canada Day, Pickle Chicken. Nikki oh, Dunn got yeah. some pickle chicken. I had some on over the weekend. I'll give you the review. I did that thing where you help a family member buy a thing. And so we talk about the Kindle Fire. Now uh, it's coming in so you can set it up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's you know that's what? part two of helping a family member. That's the buying it and the setup. You know that's my Monday night, right? And to transfer every fr- everything from the existing item well, to the new one. You know, it's not. It's an iPad going on an Android tablet. So this is going to be a start, complete oh, fresh start, out of the box, complete fresh start, which is kind of great because. You don't have to do much. <laughs> You're pretty much right. So uh, bad Chinese experiences, ice cream, pints, all that stuff. So you guys enjoy it. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye. Once again, there just wasn't enough material for best of the riot. Actually, there wasn't any best of the riot at all. None. Zero. Look, it's all bad. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not bad. It's the worst. Radio, you. Okay, this is the craziest thing. Yesterday, uh, I went Hudson to... won't think it's crazy. No, he doesn't. <laughs> He's probably not laughing about it. But, like, uh, I'm at church. It's Sunday. And I've got my ringer off because what do you do? You you turn your ringer off. And I just happened to look down at my phone and I was like, I missed a call from Hudson. That's odd. That's weird. But anytime it was like... So I get up and I go outside and I, I try to call him back. I text him, whatever. And then I end up leaving and I'm driving home and I get this text. I'm broken down on the side of the road in Maryland. And I'm like, wait, it's like, oh what? No. It's like, what? Oh no. what is going oh no. on? What is going on? And it starts this. Um, what's the word? A snowball effect. Right. When it travels down the hill and it gets worse and worse and worse. So then I'm like, OK. I don't know. I, and I, it's like, I, I could take care of this, but like, do we have a thing? Do we whatever? So I'm trying to get a hold of Nikki. Can't get a hold of Nikki. I was then, swimming. I'm like in the pool going, la, la, la. I have no idea. Nothing's coming. I get out of the pool. I've like, my phone's blown up, basically. Well, Chris and I are talking and he's like, can you get a hold of Nikki? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm texting you. I'm texting Eric. I'm calling. I'm it's like, like when you know when you get your phone, you're like, I think something's wrong. Something's going on, man. <laughs> well, it was just, I mean, like noon on a Sunday, yeah. is there ever a time where you're less reachable than that? I mean, aside from even the middle of the night, you would have heard your phone ringing, but it's Sunday in the middle of the day. Sure. You're so far disconnected from the idea of, of anything, and that's when Hudson needed us the, the most. most. Well, he was coming back from Creation Festival, uh, but then he had to go to Maryland for something and was then coming back to the Radio U studio. Which is not that far from But creation. the biggest problem is, is he, and he's, he, he was like, you know, in retrospect, it might be the best, but he wanted to pay the cheapest for his cell phone. So his cell phone's with the carrier that works fine in radio use Basically Central. Basically in cities, yeah. In cities. But where in Maryland he was, there was no cell phone service. Oh, man. Everybody else has it, but not him or anyone else. So they're broken down in the radio U vehicle in Maryland in some park area, like where there's nothing. <laughs> 
There's nothing. Which, I mean, if you've ever been out there, like, there There's are nothing. huge swaths of nothing. <laughs> so, like, so people are sending me his coordinates. He's on a, uh, a MiFi hotspot to be able to Google Hangout us because he can't call us. Right. And I was like, finally, I told him, like, you got to call the police. Like, I cannot do this from here. And is that what he ended up yeah, doing? Yeah, and he had to call 911 because he couldn't find, like, he couldn't through the other stuff just call, like, this Maryland State Patrol. I was like, they're going to be fine with it. Just call. You need call, help. Call 911. You're like, listen. Um, it's not like an emergency emergency. Don't but... you guys come and arrest people for calling if it's not an emergency? No, it was, though. Could you come out and arrest me and then take me somewhere I could call for a tow truck? Because it's really hot. Because it's <laughs> daggone it, No, man. but what they did is they send a tow truck for okay, you. Sure. So that way you don't have to. But it was a mess yesterday. I was about ready to tweet, is anyone in Maryland? <laughs> does like, anybody live Does anyone live in this area who can go? Uh, but he made it back last night. So, so he is. In, like he's he back is. in studio range. He is. The Radio okay. U vehicle is not. It right. is still in Maryland. Well, you know, we always wanted to be in Maryland. Baby steps, right? So uh, it'll make its way back slowly somehow. Dude. <laughs> Dude. But it was like everything. No cell phone. Okay, great. No cell service. Uh, you're in something where no one's coming by, apparently. Well, it was weird because... I, this is way inside baseball, but he was like sending me video chat calls or like audio chat calls through Google's Hangouts yeah. service. And I was like, what? Why is he calling me that way? Because he had no service. Yeah, I know. I finally <laughs> figured it out. And I kept calling his phone. I was like, eh, he'll call me back, <laughs> whatever. He's so not I, going you know, to. I finally texted him, yeah. like, hey, is everything okay? <laughs> Weird. It's a mess. But Dude. he's learned a lesson, and it, I won't say the carrier, but. Whoever he uses is worthless if you're outside well, of in our Maryland. area. Yeah. Well, you know that's that's messed up. What dude. a fun day for everybody yesterday. I, you know what, I like I I got off pretty scot free. Oh, you like, were done. Well, because I mean, like basically, I got him connected you with you. You were talking about it well, all I day. Mean, I I definitely was just like I kept thinking like where where's Hudson right now? And I but I was just texting you. Couldn't sure. text him. I didn't sure. know if he was gonna get it. So. Yeah, if anybody saw a radio U van broken down on the side of the road, that was not a stunt. Well, no, I I normally am used to being in more populated areas. So at first I was like telling with Hudson, I'm like, well, Hudson, just wait a second. A cop will come by. And it's like nothing. No. <laughs> Nothing's coming by. He's not coming by. And then I realized, oh, you're in that that small of an area, aren't you? So we, we then got help. Well, that's pretty exciting. Yeah, I think so. For him. Our yeah. radio U, Yukon, our vehicle is just all excited. It went on a long trip. Yeah, and, and you already got to spend the night. It doesn't have to come back yet on a Monday. <laughs> it's got today off. Let's get an extra long weekend with it. How does Nikki put up with Obadiah day after day? It's easy. We pay her. Radio U. LeBron! LeBron's that's, going to L.A. That's the news, man. Like, when this broke yesterday, it was just, it broke yesterday. Yeah. Everything. Uh, because that's, I mean, everything, everywhere I follow. Things that had nothing to do at all with the NBA <laughs> were like, this just in. LeBron James going to L.A. Well, everybody was wondering. And then earlier in the weekend, you know, he he opted to not um, you know, continue and, and opt into his... He his, became a free agent. Yeah, so he became a free agent, right. and then that led to, well, what's going to happen? You're not becoming a free agent for fun. Yeah, deep down, everybody knows then, all right, Cleveland's out, so where would he go? And L.A. was it, which was a surprise for some people since L.A. is not what they call a contender anymore normally for right. the championships but everybody's memes saw uh, yesterday and last night said you can't lose the championship if you don't even make it so that's at least good <laughs> right that's true i mean you know the first time that lebron left cleveland i have a lot of fan uh, friends that are fans of the Cavs, and they were just heartbroken and it was like this thing but i feel like after this last NBA finals. They're like, go. It's it, fine. <laughs> it just, I, I mean, I just look at it and it's like, yeah, can you blame this guy? Like, they basically, he carried them into that thing and he, like, I mean, come on. Like, he gave amazing performances. They still didn't win. At some point, you, you gotta know, move on to something. You can see where he's like, all right, guys, look. But that was everybody saw. Why are you moving on to the Lakers? Yeah, well, where you'll can you know completely carry it. Maybe he wants to have access to um, 
Give me something in L.A. that's worth your time. Oh. You know, one of the the space shuttles just got moved that's to an L.A. Not museum. What Do you think said. That's, that's what it is? Not at all. You don't think that's no, it? No, but that's a good area. A lot of people like to go, and the, like... te- the team does have you know prestige. It's a name thing. I would say that he has a lot of money to burn, but everything I've heard about LeBron is that he's like crazy frugal. He's going to say like, you know, it's hard it's to not sp- for that problem. It's hard to spend all that money in Cleveland. So if you go to L.A., <laughs> you can really rack up your cost of living, but. No, we're not, like one of my favorite LeBron stories ever. I can't even remember who it was that was telling it, but they were talking about what a cheapskate he was. It's one of his teammates. Yeah. And he refuses. Like when he goes into buildings, he always signs into the Wi-Fi. He refuses to use data if he can get on Wi-Fi. <laughs> That's and a frugal save man. Data. That's and a frugal like, person. Man. <laughs> Like, there's a lot of things that I would save money on. Like, I, you know, if I was quote unquote rich. Yeah. But I'd probably be like, give me the biggest data package. I'm doing whatever I want. And it could be, I mean, he is older at this point, though still amazing, but he is older. And I'd be thinking, well, what can this team give me for when I'm done playing basketball? Like, do I become the owner of the Lakers? Or, you know, like, I want to know what could be that next step. And maybe they. Down the line. Yeah, maybe they were guaranteeing him more than that Uh and a lot of money. Well, whatever it was, LeBron is going to be playing for the Lakers now. So that means if you're a Cavs fan, you're either. I don't know what you are. You are what you oh. are. You're a great person, and you're loved, and you're uh, respected. They always disappointed. And you're part of the Cavs family, and go Cleveland. Spoken. It sounded really heartfelt. I'm helping. I'm here to be a part of the solution. I'm not so much mad about what they say. I'm mad that they think any of us want to hear it. The worst of the riot on Radio U. Okay, Nikki, we're coming up on the end. Even though Spoken says it's not the end, we're coming up on the end. <laughs> I'm getting conflicting messages from both know, of you guys. I know. Spoken's talking about something else. Uh, I'm talking about the Steam sale. It's a video game sale that happens every year. Oh, no. Uh, it ends, I think, Friday at like 1 Eastern. Did they call or it not their... Friday, Thursday at 1 Eastern. Does this count like as their summer this sale? This is the Steam summer sale. Now, I got a gift card that I've been, I've been holding on to for this whole time. And so I've got a $50 gift card. That's a lot of games during the Steam sale. Because, like, I made a list of games I want. Some of the games I want are $2. Some of them are $4. So, I mean, like, you can really. (laughs) all of these are, like, major releases. Some of them are indie ones. And some of them are old. Old, sure. And so, like, I was going to pick up Portal 2. You know, you go back. I don't even know how old it is, but you know that was a sixty dollars game. But it's old enough that they're like, "Here, it's two dollars." <laughs> and I, if you just wait it out, right? But for you, like, you just want to play it again. Yeah, I was like, "Man, I'd like to give that another shot." And for two bucks, yeah, sure, why not? But here's the thing, and this is way nerd alert, so we'll make it fast. But I just want to know if anybody's played this game. It's called Nino Cooney Two. Now, I know it's got a weird title, but it looks like if you've ever heard of Studio Ghibli, which is like. Castle in the Sky, Howl's Moving Castle, um, to my neighbor Totoro, Totoro, I can never get that right, whatever, um, like uh, Naushka, like all these really, like they're very, very famous in Japan, but yeah. they do have a following in the United States. So they've made these video games that look exactly like those movies, and I've been looking at this one, but here's the thing, Nikki, it's a big swath. It's a $35 <gasps> In the middle of a Steam sale. Oh, is that the sale price? Yeah. Well, what's it cost not on sale? What is it called? Nino? 60. It's Nino's- normally 60. Here, you, I'll have to spell it for you. It's ni, N-I, mm-hmm. space, no, N-O, There's space. There's the answer. K- and the U- name. K-U-N-I space, and then the number two. Two, okay. Or shall we say the numeral two? Hmm. Seven things I wish I knew before starting Nino Cooney 2. It's too expensive. <laughs> no. I just want you to know I've watched the top three videos that are listed in that oh, Google yeah? search. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I've been, never mind. I've been doing research on it, and it's one of those things where I thought the more I looked at it, the less I'd want it, and the more I've looked at it, the more I want it. Well, if it's if it's on sale and it's still in the 30s, like dollar-wise, yeah. that means it holds really well, People, so it must be really good. It, like people love it. Like reviews for it are crazy. And the more I've looked at it, the more and they're I'm like, still yeah, doing I do updates that. on it. So maybe. Well, hey, look, do me a flavor. Text or call eight seven seven two radio u if you have any idea what I'm talking about, and it's worth it. <laughs> if you need an excuse to hop back into Nino Nino Cooney two, uh, the latest update made the perfect one, 
And it fixes bugs, adds new rare loot items. You love loot. I love loot. Come yeah, on. And it introduces two new difficulty options. I'm thinking about it, Nikki. I'm seriously thinking about it. And then that'll be the majority of the gift card gone. And but... that'll be most of the week as he continues to think about it. Just act on it. Come on. Ever wonder what Nikki is doing when she isn't rioting? Find her Twitter feed at riot.radiou.com. Obadiah is there too, but who cares what he's doing? All right, Nikki. Yeah. Mini fridges. Yes, I have one. You have one? I have one in my bedroom. In your bedroom? bedroom? I do. I thought you knew that. <laughs> Sitting in the lap of luxury. I know I have two fridges. <laughs> two fr- you- <laughs> Well, no, I mean like Don't I have the have normal. More- Does fr- Eric have one in the basement? Well, yeah, he does have one. No, okay. There's a reason for that. Wait, I have okay. two mini fridges and one fridge and one freezer. So, man, the electric company must send you know, Christmas they're, cards. They're like, we love you. That's great. Here, we have a, a few no. other coil devices that we would like to sell Here's you. Here's the thing. When we moved, Eric had one that we used to use. And then we had family staying with us for an extended amount of time. Uh-huh. So we had. And then once they left, you unplugged the mini fridges because you no longer needed them. No, well, we were using them in, in the kitchen just because we had so many people. We had more food. So sure. we needed extra storage space. Uh, but I, during the, their stay, wanted cold water in my room. <laughs> So I got one. I don't like it normal because if I have one. Well, oh, man, guys. This is bad. You're, you're about this to, is bad. Wait, you're, you're about to, to fall inside. into. Like when you want to find out. my hole. It's fine. It's fine. You know, Go I ahead. get it. Tell him, Nikki. Okay. In the morning, I like to drink really, really cold water. If I have on an empty stomach, not really cold water, it makes me nauseous and I don't mm-hmm. like it. And I'm supposed to drink more water. So Tell them I, the rest. I have a mini fridge, and I, I really have it cranked up so that it's basically got ice chunks in it. Nikki's water has to be specially filtered. No, it doesn't. In a bottle. I mean, it's already filtered. It's bottled water. Go, let me go get you some water from the sink, and you can I drink it. I don't like water that's also been sitting out for a while. Yeah. It's got to get recold. So if Nikki's water, like let's say she opens that bottle and it sits there for too long, it's done. Well, I mean, I can water a plant with it or something. (laughs) I wasn't going to make you tell all that. No, it's fine. I don't mind. I'm not embarrassed anymore. You're not? Okay. I like cold water. You have 14 fridges. I do not. That's not not embarrassing. No, and it wasn't my... I had to just get that. Because I couldn't use the other one. Because I have needs, okay? (laughs) And my needs matter. So I won't judge anybody if they want one, too. Your friend wants one? Oh, well... Needs one? I don't know that I'm gonna I'm gonna say that. Like I, when I say asking for a friend, I mean asking for someone that lives in Horn Lake, Mississippi. Oh, so uh, it's not really a friend. Well, I mean, there was a guy there. They don't actually know his name, uh, but he, he stopped in at the Home Depot uh, and he wanted to get a mini fridge. Yeah, but Nikki, I don't know if you know this, but you know, depending on your income level, a mini fridge can seem unattainable. A little, a little too expensive. Or when you've left the dorm, you just brought it with you. That could be. <laughs> In his particular case, what he wanted to do was get a mini fridge without having to go through the trouble of paying. For sure. Money. And that's something we can all appreciate. Who wants to pay for a mini fridge when they're just sitting out there? You can take one. Yeah, you know, I love this so much. Yeah, a little problem. He was stealing this mini fridge. <laughs> Except it wouldn't fit in his car. Really? So, like, he, he's trying to it jam. It slowed down the stealing process. Yeah. He's trying to jam this fridge in. Someone finally figures out that he's stealing the fridge, and he just takes off out of the parking lot with the passenger door hanging open and the fridge hanging out. Someone's holding on to it so it doesn't roll out. <laughs> so he ends up going a couple of things over, and I guess he just dumps it in the Wendy's parking lot and up. takes off. Did they catch yeah. him since they haven't, they... they haven't caught him yet, but Home Depot did get the mini fridge, and it got me thinking. Ooh, now one's on sale probably because it's dented. <laughs> that... <laughs> That should be like an open box oh, deal. I think it is. So, I mean, I'll try to beat you over there in case you need a third mini fridge, Nikki. I don't need a third one. But I, mean, I like, do not. I, I feel like I maybe should visit some Home Depot, see if I can get me a deal on a fridge, you know? They go to the front. They're like, has this been recently stolen? And if so, can I get a little extra off on it? Here's this photo of the man stealing it. Is this the same box? <laughs> Would you tell me if it was? <laughs> That feeling when you hear that every school in the state is closed but yours? Now you know how we feel. 
It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Yesterday was July 1st, but there's also a little something else that it was, Nikki. Yesterday was... <clears throat> was it a it's Canada, Canada Day? Day? Oh, fine. July 1st is Canada Day. Did you celebrate it? I did not. I don't think I did. Unbelievable. Did I do anything little, yesterday that would have worked for Canada Day? Little poutine. Little money you don't recognize. But, oh, it's stop so off, pretty. Stop off at Tim Hortons. Get yourself <laughs> some. That's what I did. I had some Tim Hortons yesterday. That's the way I celebrated Canada that, Day. I'm sure they appreciated that. That really and, helps them. I mean, there in the drive through I held hands with the girl that was uh, serving my donuts, and we sang <laughs> O Canada together. No, wait, Tim Hortons was started in Canada. She was but so appreciative of it, too. I don't think it's owned by anybody there anymore. The manager did chase me off, but you know what? I, he was screaming at me in Canadian, and so <laughs> it felt like it was all part of the experience. Sure. He had a hockey stick. That's what he was chasing me off with. So it just felt, it all felt very authentic, felt really. Felt right for yesterday. Mm-hmm. So I just wanted to say a belated happy Canada Day. That makes sense, because I have a couple of Facebook friends from Canada, and they were all, like, proud and stuff. Mm. And that makes sense why they were doing that. That's why. You guys can't see me face palming. <laughs> they were hey, it's all... not like we're not going to be doing that Wednesday. They were all proud and stuff. <laughs> oh, great. They were just talking about how great they love Canada. Oh, my gosh. It's so great. Here, let me read to you from the Wikipedia article about what Canada Day is. It is a federal statutory holiday. It celebrates the anniversary of the July 1st, 1867, coming into force of the Constitution Act which united the three separate colonies of the province of Canada, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick into a single dominion of the British Empire called Canada. Mm, so That's what you celebrated yesterday. Yeah, Canada Day. Let's do this. Very good. July must be a time for making big pronouncements because you got like July 1st, you got July 4th. Fourth. <laughs> I mean, people we're trying are, to keep it in the same week. Yeah, that's I mean, fine. We're close enough. That's fine. So, yeah. All right. Go Canada. Woo, Canada. And just replace. It's real easy for Wednesday. Then you just replace it with like, go America. You just like, You got no. the same thing. It's like similar Woo. music. You keep your speaker out. Then you'll just be ready. Ain't no thing. Except for instead of stars and stripes forever, it's like maple and stripes forever. <laughs> It's like it's similar, but just a little bit different. A little bit different. That's what we love about it. That works for me. No problem. So, dude, I would like some Tim Hortons, though, if you may. You know, wants to celebrate celebratory box of Tim bits. Sure. You know, because that's what, when we established Canada, our dream was a world where everyone could get a donut hole. So, then what on uh, 4th of July are we doing Krispy Kreme or what says America? Everything says America, Nikki. <laughs> Everything all the time. What donut does? Dunkin' Donuts? What? I got to think about that. (laughs) There are two types of people in this world, and neither one of them likes the riot. You're listening to The Riot on Radio U. All right, let's talk about this wonderful text that came in from Danny. Danny says, KFC is pretty darn American. That is true. And then it, Nikki literally jumped out of her chair and was like, pickle chicken! Pickle chicken! I pickle forgot. Chicken. On Saturday, I finally tried KFC. You know, they do the um, Carolina Gold, this like mountain thing, and then they have the hot Nashville Hot. So they have various types of chicken. They also came out with the pickle chicken. Pickle chicken. And that's a limited time only because the pickles can only last so long. Mm-hmm. It was so good. You have no idea. And you're like, I, I hate pickles. It I doesn't do. matter. I hate pickles. It's not, it's not the same. It's not like pickle. It's not. I don't know then how to explain it. Why is it called it. pickle chicken then? It tastes like pickle chicken, but it's not. I think if you did not like pickles, you still might like it. If you like a vinegary taste like pickles. I don't. <laughs> you don't at if all? You like, no. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't Even like, a little? No. Well, how could you not? It's, it's very, very easy, actually. It's not. It's not. 
It's disgusting. And then you're like, have you had vinegar or something? <laughs> it was really oh. good. I really liked it. Okay. All right. So give me give me some more. You go in. Was it yesterday? I went on Saturday. We got to fill this break. So you got to give me some details. <laughs> you want so some of the info. Saturday, you go into KFC. It's a oh, limited no, time I'm, run. I'm driving through. I oh, you drove tra- you through. You didn't go in? I did not go in. That's you know good, better than that. Actually, that's a good choice. That only leads to more disappointment you when you in, see how it happens. You go in and you start to realize you really shouldn't be eating there. Yeah. So, no, he went through the drive-thru. Through and I was like, I'm just going to try a piece. So I got the little chicken tenders thingies because uh-huh, sure. it comes in that or like the uh, the other style. Okay. And Very descriptive. You get three. Yeah. Three chicken. And there's a lot of pickle juice around it. So it is. <sighs> <laughs> but, if you, but if you don't like pickle juice, you'd still like no, it. No, because Eric wasn't Aww. crazy about it, but he tried one and then he loved it too and he was dipping it in the pickle juice to get more of it. I did not do that. Aww. I don't like it to be... Uh, that much, but it was really good. A, oh. a very subtle pickle flavor that you would not think would go well with chicken, but it does. Well, I mean, there's a reason why every chicken place puts pickles put on pickle their on thing, it. so it's good. I'll tell you what I do I go in and I say, Yeah, I'll take a chicken sandwich, no pickle, <laughs> no pickles. Don't put a pickle on that now, don't <laughs> so you do that. They say it is limited until the pickle stuff runs out, uh, but it was good. And Stephanie, thank you for backing me up. Says, Agreed, pickle chicken's so good. That's not what she said, Nikki. She said, agreed! Pickle well, chicken is so good! Yes, Stephanie, that was all in caps. It was all in caps. You gotta put the emotion with that. She we, wasn't just saying, you know, Nikki, high agreed. five. Agreed. I do agree and with you. I agree with you, Nikki. She was <laughs> screaming it from the mountaintops. I appreciate you doing that. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm I'm ready to go back into KFC for a little bit of that Georgia gold. We also never tried the the mountain sauce as no, well. No, I never did try that. Mm-hmm. I, I did the Nashville hot stuff That's good. and the George Golden. I liked both of those actually, but you're right. I never did the other. And is that a, like, do they still have the other one? They do. Okay. Those are those are forever. That was also a limited time. They just haven't run out. No, they, they said those were going to be actual flavors. Okay. But for the pickle one, they, they've said many times. You're going to rotate it? If the location runs out of the stuff, then that's it. So are you going back? Maybe. Got plans to go today? No, not today. Tomorrow? No. Yes. Sometime during the holiday. You're going. You're going. I just want to get a bucket. Aren't just a afra- small bucket. But aren't you afraid that if you don't go soon that it'll be gone? Oh, gosh. And now that I'm talking about it, you guys might go and try it. Maybe we shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe you should have kept how good it is to yourself. Now <laughs> no, you go. I want to share because I like pickle stuff and I think it was quite good. Mm, Stephanie and agrees. Sometimes Nikki. KFC surprises me where like the chicken will actually be good. Other times that's, it's exactly what I think it is. Anytime I eat anything at KFC that's good, I'm like, what a surprise. This is actually great. Man, <laughs> like this is great. How did this even happen? And other times you're like, yeah, that's, that's it. That's it right there. I don't know. I guess like the last, well, the last time I had it it was good i had the georgia gold and i was like you know what yeah fine and i mean you know then you have to go home and lay down for a while as your stomach begins to slowly reject the food you've given it but like it's fun yeah but that's normal that's with every fast food place (laughs) yeah i mean there's uh, except for chicken mcnuggets (laughs) you're paying for that (laughs) they're good for you nikki and obadiah obadiah and nikki love hit hate love all right everyone in let's go it's the worst of the riot on Radio U. I got to tell you what I'm desperate for. People to like me. Aww, no, it's real. It's everybody real. likes that. I'm desperate for people to like me. And you know what's the other thing I'm always desperate for? It's when somebody please tell me I'm doing a good job. Am I doing good? Like a pat on the back. Is it good enough? And I don't want it so that you're just doing it because I need it. You're doing it because it's actually good. And then unsolicited. Right. And then, you know, somebody hears this and like, hey, but I really like your show. And it's like, you don't need it. See, the problem is when someone has something nice to say, you don't even accept it. it. You're desperate for affirmation. And then when somebody does, you're like, what do they want from me that they're telling me? What, you want a free sticker? Here, take a sticker. Get out. I could see it's just not winning then on that situation. Well, I'm psychologically tormented, Nikki, and my hope is that one day, eventually, when I stop breathing, I'll be free of it. I can accept love <laughs> and a compliment. Oh, you know what? Do you know that that's one of the things that I for real absolutely love about God? I do. I know that God loves me, and the thing that I have to keep drilling into my head, and I, I have to purposefully remind myself of it, is that God loves me and accepts me where I'm at. And it's not because, well, Obadiah, you had a good riot today, so I love you. 
Now, tomorrow we'll talk about whether or not I love you based on your performance on the riot. Okay, or you know what? Uh, we'll think uh, think about what it is in your life. Like I love you today because you didn't smoke, but tomorrow if you give in and have a cigarette, I won't love you anymore. That's the way it works. That's not the way God works. God loves us no matter what. And the great thing is, is that I feel like he can set us free from that need for approval. Am I totally free of it? I'm not. Like some days I got it together and I'm just like, I don't care what you think. That's also still desperately needing it. Right. You get it. But I mean, God can help us get over that. And one of the ways he does it is us just learning to accept that he really does love us. He really does. God loves me. He loves you. We can relax a little bit. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus, some of this might just seem like total nonsense to you. You got to get in and experience it for yourself. Jesus loves you. He wants a relationship with you. A real one-on-one, moment-to-moment God's spirit moving into the neighborhood of your heart, living with you day to day kind of thing. You can invite him in and just say, Jesus, I want that. I want to accept your love. I want you to come into my life. I want your spirit to come live with me. And I want to know what it's like to be loved that way. Man, it's a great start. And I'll tell you too, like if you got something going on and I don't care if it's, hey, I need money for rent or I need to learn to accept who I am, like wherever you're at today, And you can ask God for help with that thing. You don't have to wait. You can ask right now. Friends by friends, Coke Freestyle Machines. We're all friends, right? It's the riot on Radio U. All right, Nikki. Yeah. I had a family member that has had an iPad 2 for a while. Sure. How old is that? Is an iPad 2, is that like six years old? You know, when did that come out? I I can't remember because, you know, they just... just travel through I know, they and just you just, go... they all blend in after a while. You don't even know what you have. All right. They were available at retail 2011 through 2014. Okay. So let's say they've had it for five years or something like that. Um, they're no longer updating iOS on the iPad 2. Sure. Which means that as it's... apps get updated, it becomes harder and harder to use. It's an, eventually the app just won't work anymore. Right. So I sat down and we had a real heart to heart where we just held hands and looked in each other's eyes. And I was just like, all right. Might be time to let it to go. Like, yeah, Let's let it talk go. talk about this. <laughs> and what they ended up with was a, a Amazon Fire HD 10. Uh-huh. Now, we haven't picked it up yet. So I told them that I would bring it over today and I would help them get it set up. But basically, they use their tablet for Facebook and Netflix. Yeah. I mean, in reality, that's all they're... I mean, they probably use it for a couple other things. But that's the main ones. Little web surfing, little Amazon shopping, quite frankly, and that's probably about it. So doing the research, that Amazon tablet was only 150 bucks. Sure. Now, I pushed, I was like, you know, for 300, we could just get you the new hotness iPad, and you know, that would be a thing, but... But if they're not using all the features on it, then there's... It's only to a certain point do they need it. That's kind of where we landed. It was like, all right, show me all the apps that you really use on your iPad. And when they showed it to me, it was like, okay, here's the thing. You don't really need anything nice. We could get your... (laughs) And not like the the fire's not nice, but they don't need any more than that. Well, I started reading up on it, and everybody says, as long as you can handle the fact that it is a... Like, it is Amazon. Yeah. Like, they are always like, you know, you should buy your garbage bags here. You know, like, they're always throwing Amazon stuff at you. Everyone says, if you can handle that, it's actually a really nice tablet. So, I have never had, I have the original Amazon Fire tablet, and I got it for free. Uh, so... <laughs> Um, Which is why it's still there. I still have it. Like, it's fine. Uh, It was like a Black Friday thing and that I had a discount and like whatever. And it ended up whittling it down to, I I really don't think I paid for it. It might, I maybe thought it I, was twenty dollars. Did I pay twenty yeah, for it? Okay, maybe I, think, I did. But like you know, you know in Amazon like that's, world, that's probably free. okay. You know, you you might be right. Maybe it was twenty bucks. Uh, but it's been fine. Like I've used it for, like if I'm going on a trip and whatever. Like I just put a card in it and I can watch a ton of movies. Mm-hmm. But uh, what do you like? How do you feel about it? Do you think listen the Fire I, Ten HD? I have no problem, especially with uh, people at different levels of involvement with the Apple world. Yeah, um, I'm entrenched. So you are. It's true. Everything works better with each other if it is an Apple device, right? Um, but that's just because everything else I have is. But if it's someone else and it's just oh, the iPad is the only thing they have left. 
There's no need to keep going if they don't need all the stuff. It's way more expensive. You are paying for the name. Yeah. And Amazon doesn't care, so they're like, please buy our name. 10-inch tablet for $150. Mm-hmm. That's just crazy. So I'll get a chance to play with it today. I'll tell you some more about it tomorrow because, like I said, I told him I'd come over and set it up for him and like get him hooked up. That's a and, good son. Well, have you know. <laughs> you get a, get them taken care of. It's um, fine. But I'm curious. The, okay, here's another thing. It blows my mind. I got them this at Best Buy, right? It came with a free Echo Dot. Yeah. Amazon's just like, what? Did you just, we just please, please take, take one? one. <laughs> please. Will you please put That's this? That's like the coleslaw of the meal. It's Dude, like, I don't yes. want it. But they're Nobody. like, here, you need to take the Echo Dot. I don't want the coleslaw. Don't put it on the plate. And you know what's funny? is just like coleslaw. I'm trying to swap it out. Like, and they won't hey, give guys, you anything. Hey, what if, uh, <laughs> like, could you give me? I'll take less. I'll take yeah, less. Yeah, just something else. Will you take $10 off the purchase price? I don't want this. They're like, no, you must have it. You will have this dot. <laughs> You will plug it in, and we will listen to your conversations. <laughs> Basically, that's what you're getting. Recycling paper is like planting a tree. Recycling the riot is like burning down the rainforest. Uh-uh, we ain't gonna be in no fire, not the day. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Over the weekend, two things from the past disappeared. Did you see the picture of Jeffrey, the giraffe from Toys R Us? Oh, no. Oh, was that? Oh, Friday was the last day of Toys R Us. Friday was the last day for uh, Toys R Us. I swear I never thought the one near us would actually close. Somebody had a picture of <laughs> Jeffrey and he was standing in a Toys R Us that was completely empty holding or pulling a suitcase. Sure. So like he was packed up and he was leaving. Oh, Poor guy. And everybody was like, ah, this is the saddest thing that's ever happened. But again, the one near our studios could have been open forever and like still had people going. I actually did forget I was going to go on Friday and just kind of look around. Sure. Totally forgot it was the last day. And then on Saturday, I saw these people tweeting, Toys R Us is closed. And I was like, oh, dang it. I was going to give it one more run. I was going to go over it one more time. I still wanted overpriced items at 35% off. I wanted that. Still paying above retail, (laughs) even though it's clearance. It's fine. Yeah, so that, that ended. But that's not the only thing that ended this weekend. Best Buy this weekend. Quit selling CDs. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And that been talked about, or did yes. they confirm that? Yeah, no, that a was something ago. that they talked about a long time ago, and they gave a date for it, saying mm-hmm. July 1st, is the, that's it, for CDs at Best Buy. I guess I forgot they sold them there. Well, and as you can see, Nikki, our forgetfulness regarding these two items may be the very things that led to these items. <laughs> the going out of business of Toys R Us, the no longer selling CDs at a Best Buy. So that's it. Now, that's if how you, things change. If you want a CD, you're going to have to buy that somewhere else. Honestly, physical copies of games will probably be next. Yeah, that's that's definitely on the way. The funny thing for me about CDs is that they're just so ubiquitous. Like you're, if even if your car doesn't have Bluetooth, even if it doesn't have an aux jack, almost all cars have CD players. Even though, man. Like, when's the last time you bought a physical copy of a CD? Well, it'll come around. You know, like, everybody's like, oh, the vinyl, the vinyl. And, right. you know, give it uh, maybe 10 years or so. Be like, oh, remember the CDs? And we'll collect those. I will say that if you do listen to digital music, CDs are the, for the most part, the best sounding digital copies sure. of an album that you'll get. day to day, just listening, most people aren't as interested in making sure it's it's that quality. Even I think I, it's just fine. Even I'm not. Like, I'm fine with just streaming music. It's fine. I'm good. I'm good. It's good. It's good enough, <laughs> which is the very thing that killed Jeffrey the giraffe. <laughs> it killed everything. <laughs> Getting my toys in two days from Amazon, good enough. Some have said that if you just keep listening to the riot, you'll learn to love them. Has that really worked for anybody yet? Has anyone tested that? It's the riot on Radio U. Okay, Nikki, before we get into this woman's story, I want to talk about yours. Mm -hmm. Worst experience at a Chinese restaurant. At a Chinese restaurant? Um, Well, the one that's since, I think, been closed down. Okay, yeah. For many health code violations. Remember the, you weren't there, but I sat through lunch and they had, they would bring the stuff out for the buffet Mm -hmm. and the door would uh, squeak because it just needed worked on. Mm -hmm. But it sounded like it was meowing 
And over and over again during the entire meal, every time they would wheel this card out, mm-hmm. you would just hear meow, meow. And it, of course, the you would hope wouldn't be not true thing of sometimes with Chinese food, it might be cat. Uh, and so I just sat there just terrible. And then they closed for Alco's stuff. And I was Ran like, oh, pants. great. What was it? <laughs> but other than that, outside of uh, just a couple of poor choices. Really, we've we've done fairly well. And you haven't, you didn't even mention when they accused you of counterfeiting and wouldn't accept your uh, money. No, that was a franchise. So that doesn't uh, count. Fast food, China, that doesn't count. Because see, I see this being something that could happen to you if an- <laughs> we go to another restaurant and you they say like, well, we can't accept your money. Well, I was going through the drive through at a place and I was using a twenty that someone had given me that was from the sixties. It was actual currency, but it looked really weird. Mm-hmm. And man, the manager comes screaming at me through the window, yelling at me way too much for like what was really going on. Mm -hmm. So I just paid by credit card, but I vowed I will not go back to that guy because I didn't like how I was treated. Well, here's a woman that was treated, she believes, unfairly at the China One restaurant in Mount Clemens. Always has a one in it. It does, doesn't it? Number one Chinese buffet. No, this was China One restaurant. It was 940 p.m. last Thursday night. Yeah. She went in there. She didn't get her food, not what she ordered. So she went back in, began talking to the owner. Now, the son is translating because he only speaks Chinese. And the the people working there, the people that own the restaurant. Yeah. So her son is translating. Uh, Eventually, uh, she begins attacking the son who, you know, he's just the messenger. You know, then the man begins pushing her out the door and then she bites part of his ear off. Well, I mean, got to fight back. She's standing up for her rights as a consumer, Nikki. Well, yeah. No, so, I, don't, I, mean, I don't, like, we don't need to yell. Like, I wanted to tell the manager that when he was yelling at me. We don't need to yell. You could it's not just worth say, it. You could, you could just, just talk and be like, oh, my gosh, what is this? And, and we could all have a little laugh. You don't need to bite someone's ear. You don't have to do that. Mm-hmm. But well, that's what we, unfortunately, I feel like for some people, you're just moments away from losing it. But. Nikki, if that manager had been yelling at you face to face, you were inside oh, the restaurant and he's throwing the twenty at you. Oh, I just would have laughed. I've been crying. Would you wouldn't have bit his ear? No, I don't want to do that. I feel like that hurts me. I would like to see you jump over the counter, push that guy to the ground, and <laughs> take his ear in your mouth <laughs> and, and take rip every twenty dollar bill that he has in his cash register and rip it in half. <laughs> what about this twenty? What about this, this one? Does this look good what enough about for this you? One? No, I would probably call someone to have them come in. Be mad at him. But. Eric, hey, Eric, can you come here for a second? I need you to bite this man's ear and half off. Not the whole ear, Eric, just part of the ear. Sometimes I don't tell him what I need him to do until it gets, like, there because I want to tell him in person. He's like, what do you need? I'm like, no, just come here. Come here first, and then I'll explain this guy. This man here will not accept my 20. And, and he won't I, give me what I want. I want you to jump across the counter and bite his ear off. Okay, like, I'll be in the car. I like the idea of you telling him that calmly while the manager is standing there watching the exchange. Just remember if you're having a really bad day and and maybe you're working at the place and you also are having a really bad day i know that's uh just perfect ground for someone just going just losing it Mm -hmm. let's all just take a couple of deep breaths it's just food it's fine it's just a 20 it's fine okay with it and no one needs to go all losing it you know they got your food wrong you could just have a civil discussion yeah and just uh be done with it i'll tell you what though you ask for no onions and they put onions in it and it well that it pushes buttons okay (laughs) it 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 pushes buttons it does especially if they don't respond well if you're trying to be nice to go in to get the onions taken off of it it pushes buttons nikki and that's understandable you're listening to The Riot. Voted number one morning show. Among toddlers aged two to five. Among people with hearing problems. Among dogs who bark at loud noises. Among relatives of Obadiah. Among people who lie in surveys. The Riot Radio U. You know, last week we were talking about how they are going to have a new Halo TV series that's going to be on Showtime. But did you know that Halo Top is actually an ice cream that has nothing to do with that video game franchise? I love Halo Top. Really? Yeah, I love their flavors. Wait, is it? Okay, wait. Well, it's very much a protein based. No, it's just uh, you can have the whole pint for like a couple hundred calories. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not like... 
Oh, what's, Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, it's not dec- real ice cream. It's not decadent. Like then why that, are we even eating it? But it's really good for for its you know health things. Like if you got to go with something, it's not bad. You guys can't see my disappointed but, face. I had, I like the chocolate real. banana flavor. It's okay. really good. Chocolate banana. And people seem to like their birthday cake one. That's a fan favorite. Costco has their peanut butter chocolate one. Mm, do you know what else they have? What do they have? A lawsuit. Oh, oh no. Mm-hmm. Are they lying? Uh, they've been putting people in the ice cream. No, I meant like, are it's they lying about people. the nutrition? I don't care if they're just not lying about the nutrition. It's fine if it's people, yeah, as long like, as it's real. It's as long as there's not more calories in it than they're telling us. No, you know what is happening, Nikki? They're underfilling the pints. Really? Mm-hmm. Ah. Well, at least so says the allegations in this lawsuit. I don't think I ever noticed when peeling back that cover of that ice cream. Well, how, how else do you think they're going to get only 300 calories in there? They got to <laughs> cut a little bit off the top. True, it's not full. So what would make you more angry? Finding out that they had given you less ice cream than they told you they would, or finding out there were more calories than they told you there more were? More calories. Yeah. So, That's really hitting you. Like you were just like, at. I can have some ice cream. I can't lose any weight, but I have been eating this ice cream <laughs> every day. I it's only 300 more. calories. Yeah, so I, I would probably be more upset with that. Okay. Because everybody always underfills. That's just normal. Man, seriously, like open a bag of chips. It's all air. <laughs> Like, it's all air. We're used to that. I'm like, oh, it's because the chips settle. No, it's not. Stop. <laughs> You guys are ripping us off. You, we'll be honest with you. You be honest with us. So what, do they need room for the ice cream to expand in case something happens when in travel? No. So they they, they say that they're aware of the issue, and the, but no, 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 no. The allegations are they already know about it, but the people at Halo Top say, and I quote, we've never and would never How dare you? Pu- they would never do that. How could you even think that? Product settling can occur mm, from time to time. There it is. You might experience that. So, I mean, haven't we all settled? You know, I, you know, when we started talking, I was standing up straight, but slowly but surely I've kind of <laughs> settled down settled lower. down a little bit. I've relaxed a little. <laughs> so, I mean, that's all that's happened, and your ice cream's just relaxing. Well, let's just keep an eye out on this uh, alleged lawsuit against Halo Top ice cream. Alleged. Because I mean, we don't know if it's real. People, people love that stuff. I mean, the lawsuit is real. We don't know if the underfilling is real. I should probably go grab some just to make we sure. We should go get just some and test it. Just to double check. Again, it's, it's not fancy. No. Like, to keep the calories down, you're like, where is all the filling stuff? You just learn to accept, like, that's what you get right now. Mm-hmm. And don't throw a fit. Correct. The worst of the riot is over. But the fun can keep going. Hey, I saw you checking out my goods. Check the riot blog or stalk us on social media. You want to sample them? A little try before you buy them? Huh? Through riot.radiou.com. Nikki literally jumped out of her chair and was like, Pickle Chicken!